The reason I'm bringing this up is because I want to introduce you to a, the concept that we call cognitive theory. And cognitive theory is very important in tinnitus because tinnitus tends to create thoughts that then tend to create emotions. And oftentimes these emotions really help to sustain the distress and the, the, the terrible feelings a person has because of what they believe is caused by their tinnitus. The point I want to get across to you is that it's not the tinnitus that is causing fears and, and emotion and depression and anxiety. It's actually the thoughts that you have. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're walking down the street in downtown Los Angeles mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you feel someone grab you from behind. Mm. What, what would you think? I would be fearful. I would think that that's somebody who's wanting to do something bad to me. Okay. A, a, logical, a logical thought. So you would be fearful. Mm. But why would you be fearful when somebody grabs you? You told me, but tell me again. You'd be fearful, but why would you be fearful? I would think that uh, this person would do something bad to me to take my money or rob me or kill me or something like that. Okay. So it's the thought that, you, that you're in potential danger mm -hmm. that makes you fearful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there another thought that you might have when you feel somebody grab you from behind that might change that emotion? It might be a friend. It might be a friend. Okay, so you're visiting someone in Los Angeles. It might be your friend that grabs you. Now how, what would your emotion be because of that thought? It would be joy or ah, hello. <laughs> okay, good. And that's exactly the point that I'm trying to make. Yeah. The point that I'm trying to make is that it was the same event the event was somebody grabbed you from behind. If you felt that you were in danger because of this, because you thought it was somebody trying to steal from you mm. or harm you, then your emotion would be fear. Mm. But if your thought was, oh, it's my friend, then your emotion is joy or hopefulness, let's say. <laughs> and that is where we want to kind of go with this concept of tinnitus. I'm not trying to make you think that your tinnitus is going to go away because you have positive thoughts. The concept that I want to work on today is that your thoughts will alter your emotions. Your emotions will then either sustain the distress that you feel from the tinnitus or will give you hope that you can go on and live your life the way you should regardless of the tinnitus. And that's what we're trying to do here. I want to help you to identify thoughts that you might have that make things feel bad for you and that make your emotions negative. And let's see if we can come up with other concepts, other thoughts that may make you have a different emotion that might allow you to cope better with your tinnitus. Mm -hmm. Some of these thought errors that we call them or negative thoughts that you might have you might not even be aware of them, and they might have some logic behind them, but I'm going to question you about some of the logic on them.